what we're standing outside of uh, within the next half hour. You read the description of what would happen earlier, and um, after that, we should be getting a statement from the prison officials about what's occurred. Um, now, Amy, I'm not sure if you want to read this now, but it might be very interesting. It's the 2008 statement from Troy Davis that his family sent. Um, people may remember that this was another tense moment um, that turned out quite differently than what we anticipate happening tonight. Um, uh, should we read it? Um, so this is a 2008 statement released by Troy Davis' his family. It's from Troy Davis. I want to thank you all for your efforts and dedication to human rights and human kindness. In the past year, I've experienced such emotion, joy, sadness, and never-ending faith. It is because of all of you that I am alive today. As I look at my sister, Martina, I am marveled by the love she has had for me, and I, of course, worry about her and her health, but as she tells me, she is the eldest, and she will not back down in this fight to save my life and prove to the world that I am innocent of this terrible crime. As I look at my mail from across the globe, from places I've never even dreamed I would know about, and people speaking languages and expressing cultures and religions I could only hope to one day see firsthand, I'm humbled by the emotion that fills my heart with overwhelming, overwhelming joy. I can't even explain the insurgence of emotion I feel when I try to express the strength I draw from you all. It compounds my faith and it shows me yet again that this is not a case about the death penalty. This is not a case about Troy Davis. This is a case about justice and the human spirit to see justice prevail. He, he reads further. He writes further. I cannot answer all of your letters, but I do read them all. I cannot see you all, but I can imagine your faces. I cannot hear you speak, but your letters take me to the far reaches of the world. I cannot touch you physically, but I feel your warmth every day I exist. Now he closes here. So thank you, and remember, I am in a place where execution can only destroy your physical form. But because of my faith in God, my family, and all of you, I have been spiritually free for some time. And no matter what happens in the days, weeks to come, this movement to end the death penalty, to seek true justice, to expose a system that fails to protect the innocent, must be accelerated. There are so many more Troy Davises. This fight to end the death penalty is not won or lost through me, but through our strength to move forward and to save every innocent person in captivity around the globe. We need to dismantle this unjust system, city by city, state by state, and count country by country. He ends finally, I can't wait to stand with you no matter if this is in physical or spiritual form. I will one day be announcing I am Troy Davis and I am free. That's his 2008 statement from Troy Davis uh, as we stand outside the prison where he's set to be executed within the next 30 minutes, Amy.